Welcome into the 24-7 Sports Channel. I'm your host today, 24-7 Sports Director Scouting Adam Finkelstein, and we have yet another big commitment for you with four-star top 60 prospect Chase McCarty out of IMG Academy and the Atlanta Express AAU program. Of course, he is originally from the state of Alabama, one of the very best wings in the entire country. You get a look at his profile right there. The 55th ranked prospect in the country, 15th wing, Number nine in the state, 6'5", 200 pounds, and a four-star prospect. Been widely recruited by some of the very biggest programs in all of college basketball. You get a look at some of his finalists here. He's got Georgia Tech, Houston, Kansas, Tennessee, and Texas Tech among his final five. And without further ado, we are going to bring in Chase and his family to today's broadcast. Chase, welcome to the show. What's up? What's up? Thank you all for having me. Man. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks. So before we get going, tell us tell us who you got next to you here today. I got my my mom right here to my right, my dad to my left, and my trainer mentor, Coach Rock, right here on the far left. Well, if Coach Rock's who taught you how to shoot, he deserves to be in the picture. I'll tell you that. So <laughs> <laughs> he can't shoot at all. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, Chase. Listen, you've been recruited by some of the biggest programs in college basketball. You're originally from Alabama. You played in the UAA with a program out of Atlanta, transferred to IMG Academy in Florida. What has this whole process been like for you? Man, it's it's been great. Uh, breathtaking. It's been tiring, but um, I've really enjoyed it all. Like it's it's you know what, what some kids dream for. You know, I definitely not taking it not taking uh, not taking it for granted. But um, I really enjoyed it all. Now, tell me, you know, I know we introduced the people in the picture, but I've done enough of these to know there's probably a long list of people you want to thank and recognize before the big moment comes. And I, and I want to give you an opportunity to do that here now. Yeah. So, you know, first, I'd like to thank God because, you know, without him, I wouldn't be here at all. So um, love, you know, thank him. And then I, all my coaches, you know, uh, family, <clears throat> mentors, friends, you know, all them that, that have been with me, my sister. <laughs> that have been with me since day one. And, you know, I wouldn't, I don't know what I would do without my sister. So, you know, I'd love to thank her and, you know, all she's done for me. All right. Shout out, shout out to sister. Um, <laughs> Chase, I'm not going to hold this up any longer. You got a bunch of fan bases waiting to see if you're going to be coming to town. You're down to five finalists. Where are you going to be playing your college basketball? I'll be playing my college basketball. <laughs> At the University of Houston. Go Cougs. Yes, sir. All right. For the city, congratulations. Now, Chase, this is obviously huge for Houston for a number of reasons. But tell us, why did you pick Kelvin Sampson's program? I picked Coach Sampson in his program just because of the family feel I got from it. Um, you know, as soon as we stepped on campus, it felt like a place that I want to be and, you know, somewhere that I could see myself being for, you know, the next four years and, um, Coach Q, he's been, you know, he's been there since day one, and it's really been like a, a family environment, like I said. So um, I could just, you know, see myself being there, and, you know, that's ultimately where I want to be. All right. Now, for Houston fans who have not seen you play yet, what would you tell them they are getting in Chase McCarty? Um, they're getting a high motor, um, two guard that, you know, can stretch the floor, shoot the ball at a high level, uh, defend one through five, and, really do everything, a real versatile wing. All right, Chase, i tell you what, I know you got friends and family there. If I know you, you're probably going to get a workout in, get some shots up pretty soon. So we're going to let you go, let you do your thing. But congratulations. Thank you so much for doing this here with us at 24-7 Sports, and good luck uh, this season before you head to Houston next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, that is Chase McCarty, and this is big news for Houston. To break it all down, I'm going to welcome in National Basketball Director Eric Bossy to help me figure out exactly what this means for Kelvin Sampson. Ebos, uh, Houston, they could have a big hole on the wing next season, so this is an important addition for them. What do you like most about this fit? You know, what I like most about Chase is that this is a guy who's about winning and being a player that, can not only shoot the ball from deep, but he does a lot of the little things. You know, he mentioned his positional versatility, and he's got that. He can play anywhere from the two to the three, or even as a small ball four because he's tough, he's smart. He's a guy that, you know, once he gets in the weight room in Houston, is going to fit the kind of physical profile that 
Samson and his staff really like from their guys. So, you know, he's just another piece for what they're building a, a, a true monster down in Houston. Yeah, I think Chase McCarty, he's long, he's strong, and he's a shot maker. He, he really specializes in scoring over the top of smaller defenders. He can do it from three, he can do it in the mid-range area, and he can even go down into the post. Um, I was t texting with Sean McAloon this morning from the IMG Academy head coach, and he tells me that the gains he's made on his body just in the last six weeks really believes that that's going to help him take his game to another level. Um, when you look at Houston, this is a program – that has finished in the top three in, I'm sorry, in the top 10 in defense for the last three years straight. So this is a defensive oriented program, but they also play at a very slow tempo. So they need guys like McCarty who can get their shot in the half court. When it comes to that style of play, Ebos, how, how do you think Chase is going to fit in, in that half court kind of physical grind it out system? It's the type of system that I think fits him out. You know, he, He's versatile and he could play running gun and stuff like that, but I don't think that really plays to his strengths. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a guy who likes to take his time, survey for, you know, he's he's best coming off of screens and things like that. And being in an office where the ball is going to move side to side a couple of times. So it's a good fit. And like you say, uh, Coach McLoon at IMG talking about his physical gains, you know, Chase has always been a kid who's been strong and sturdy. Yeah. But changing that from, you know, strong high school kid to like college man strength. He's yep. got the perfect type of body for that. And you know at Houston, if you're not willing to be physical, you're not going to see the floor. So that he's getting a head start on that is going to be really beneficial to his future. Yeah, that's what I think is, is really interesting because they've got Dunn, who just transferred in from Temple, who I think is going to play major minutes there right away this season. Terrence Arsenault, uh, going into his sophomore season, is a prospect that I think the NBA is monitoring closely. If he were to have a breakout season, it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could leave. Um, but as it stands, uh, McCarty's positional versatility, the upside that's still left to his frame, as you alluded to, I think he and Arsenal can play together. And you look at what Houston has done in the last recruiting class. They went really big man heavy. They got three different bigs uh, between midseason last year and the 2023 recruiting class. And now I think with this group, they have solidified themselves on the perimeter. So another terrific addition for Houston, keeping things rolling down there for the Cougars and Kelvin Sampson. Tell you what, don't go anywhere right now. You can stay right here on the 24-7 Sports Channel for the debut of this week's episode of College Basketball Recruiting Weekly. And we are going to talk about everything there is to know in the coming season in both the Big 12 and the Big 10. Everything from top contenders to top players to top NBA prospects. Check that out right now.